What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Key Supreme. Back in the video, we got Louis C. Cake. Why kids are stupid. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, homie. Just be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you want to see more bangers from your boy. You feel me? Because the grind never stops. But hey, today, today we got some of that boy Louis C. Hey bro, very very excited. Um, we got this bid why kids are stupid. I got two different videos from Louis CK today. I got this one. I also got his one uh, with being broken. Now, let me tell y'all, that was one of the funniest videos I've done. I've ever done, bro. His being broke one, go check that one out right after y'all watch this one, bro. Hilarious stuff. But again, all of my funny videos will be on a funny video playlist on my channel if y'all haven't if you haven't seen all my videos already, if y'all new to the channel, so. Make sure to go check out that, and uh, yeah, I'm very excited, bro, because this dude right here, this dude is a gem, bro. This dude is a straight gem, so I'm excited to see what else he has to offer in this bit right here, why kids are stupid. I'm not going to do too much introduction. I really want to see what he has to say. Let me know, please, what other comedians y'all want me to get to. Y'all know I've got Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, Theo Vaughn, um, you know, what's it called? Uh, Daniel Tosh, uh, just let me know else what I should get to, and let me know what are y'all top bits from him, and what else should I get to next from um, Louis C.K. You know, because I just scratched the surface of his stuff, so excited to see how this journey with him is going to be. Let's straight into it. You can name your kid anything you want. Isn't that incredible? There are no laws. There should be a couple of laws. None. You can literally name your kid anything. You can name your kid a name with no vowels if you want, like King Singleton. It's just 40 F's, that's his name. Good. Go clean your room. <laughs> I'd like to name my kid a whole phrase, you know? Something like, ladies and gentlemen. That would be a cool name for a kid. This is my son, ladies and gentlemen. Then when he gets out of hand, I get to go, ladies and gentlemen, please! <laughs> but you gotta be careful what you name your kid. You don't have to be careful because what happens is other kids in school are gonna make fun of them. They're gonna make fun of their name. And you don't have to give them a weird name because they can do it with any name. Kids are geniuses at that. Any name, they take it, they go, Louie Screwy, Joey Blowy, Mike, your mother's a dyke, whatever they Not find a way. they be brutal. Any name, what's your name? Eric, you fucking asshole. See, just like that. <laughs> Lightning speed these kids got. What's your name? Joe, eat a bag of shit, cunt face. You see, just like that. <laughs> My daughter is really something else, man. She's, she runs the house. She runs the whole house. She decides everything. Like, we were playing hide and seek the other day. We play hide and seek, and we play by her rules that she invented. And do you know why? Because she sucks at hide and seek. <laughs> and so she covers it with this fucking roost to level the playing fields. And I gotta fucking pretend it's all that she's great. No, it's bullshit. Like, we're playing. Oh, he's fucking. A, he's le, nah, the baby, he's legitimately getting frustrated about this. Fucking listen. <laughs> he's, he's, so, he's so bad. When it's my turn to hide, she tells me where to hide. She tells me where. She goes, hide in the closet, Papa. But you're gonna know where I, hide in the closet! All right, fuck, I'll hide in the closet. Good, fine. Now I'm standing in the closet like an asshole. She comes in, I found you. She's like shitty about it, like, I found you. And I'm like, wow. How did you figure out where you told me to fucking hide? Oh, that's good. I love, I love this. And then when she hides, this is her hiding. She goes over to a wall and does this. She goes. That's it. There's nothing here. What the fuck is this? Like this is some ninja invisibility crouch. And I gotta act like an idiot. I can't just walk in and go, yeah, you're there. Because she'll cry and shit her pants, right? So I gotta walk around like an asshole. Where is she? I have no idea. Where could she be? Type shit. I'm making eye contact. I don't see her. Nah, when I'm a father, I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna have to do the same, bruh. 
So make y'all fathers out there, y'all do the same thing with y'all kids. I feel like my mom have to do the same thing, bro. Cause they gonna be complaining if you don't do it. That's a, that's a, I guess what well, that's a part of being a parent. I really wanna be a parent. I really wanna be a dad. You know, I'm I'm chilling right now. You feel me? I'm still young, but I really wanna be a dad. Let me shout out to y'all dads watching. Any 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 fathers watching? No idea. Where could she and the mothers, be? And the mothers. And the mothers. I'm making eye contact. I don't see her. It's amazing to me. Where, where is she? Where is she? The other day we're playing, this is how things have gotten in my house, okay? Here's a very good example of how, where it's gone. We're playing a version of hide and seek where my wife and I have to decide together where to look. She likes that. She's like, Mama, you tell Papa where to look. Okay, well, fine. So she's over there hiding like this, just in plain sight. And my wife and I, my wife's like, why don't you look under the bed? I'm like, okay. Well, we can... uh, she's not there. She's not there. And then she says, why don't you look in the linen closet? Okay, so I open the closet, she goes, that's not the linen closet. We don't put that in there anymore. Right, this would really test right, my patience. Down. This would really so test I look my that, patience. Why would she be in that closet? That has shelves. She can't stand in a shelf. Well, maybe she's crawled in a shelf. Now we're having a fight about where to look for this fucking kid who's standing right there. No, for real. She totally runs the house. We were at, I remember Halloween last year. A couple of days before Halloween, my wife comes up to me and she's like, we have to get you a cat costume. <laughs> no, no we don't, actually. <laughs> I don't think we do. No, we do, because she thinks you're gonna be a cat. I don't know, it's like she's got a, she's a guy with a gun in the other room, that's what it's like. She's like, she thinks you're gonna be a cat? I don't know how she got it in her head, but she's expecting to be a cat on Halloween. I would've been like, I'd have been like, sweetie, when I get a daughter, I'd be like, sweetie, Respectfully, no. I don't give a, I'm not being dressed as a cat. I don't even dress as Halloween. I don't even dress up as Halloween no more. I barely do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I've been like, sorry, but you're going to have to cry. I'm not doing this. I'm not dressing up as a fucking cat. Let's go tell her to go fuck herself because I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not afraid of her. Type shit. She's two. I'll fucking fight her. I can take her. <laughs> Shut up, bro. Shut up. I could beat the shit out of thousands of two year olds all day. Just walk around. Oh, my God. They would never even gang up on me. They suck. I'm not afraid of her. So my wife decided that she wanted to get pregnant again. She decided it. Oh. And she, this is back in August. She told me, uh, you need to be in town next week. <laughs> Why? That's all she said? Because I'm getting, uh, you know, I'm ovulating. So like, not do you want another kid, just be in town. That's how she handles it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna, I don't want another kid. So fuck it. And she's like, all right. Next week she starts blowing me, right? Now she hasn't blown me in, Jesus, I don't know if I've ever been blown. That's how long it is. Wait. She's blowing me on the day she's ovulating. I'm a fucking idiot. I'm like, yeah, you love it. Like, I think she digs me now. <laughs> fucking stupid. So she's having another baby any day now. She's due and uh, it's true. She's fucking, fucking the whole thing. And I'm like, uh, okay. No, no, it's great. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. That's really the attitude that keeps a family together. It's not we love each other. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Another kid. Fuck it. Why not? Let them all in. Good. <laughs> Let them all in. Fuck it. <laughs> Let them all in. Here's the thing. I never, 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 never judge other parents now. I never do. I used to, but I never do. Like, you know when you see a mother in McDonald's or someplace or in a toy store and she's just melting down on her kid? She's like, shut up, I hate you, you're ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and people are sitting around going, oh my goodness, like, she's a horrible that's mother. That's crazy. Well, guess what? Those people aren't fucking parents. They don't have kids. Because any parents who are in that store are thinking, what did that shitty kid do to that poor woman? After that little perspective that switch. That poor woman, I wish I could help. You don't know how it feels until you win the same shoes. Because you don't know, man, you don't know. Or like when you see a parent that seems to be negligent, like you're in, you see a parent in McDonald's with the kid and the parent's like, I can't take this shit anymore. And just like collapsed and all the shopping bags are just strewn everywhere. And the kid's happy. The kid's eating French fries. And the kid asks a question like, Mama, why is the sky blue? And she's like, just shut up and eat your French fries. <laughs> and you think, what a terrible mother. Why doesn't she answer her child? They, they've been through when it. When I have a child, I will answer all of their questions and open their minds to the wonders of the world. Well, guess what? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. 
You can't answer a kid's question. They don't accept any answer. A kid never goes, oh, thanks, I get it. They fucking never say that. They just keep coming, more questions. Why, why, why? So you don't even know who the why? fuck you are anymore at the end of the conversation. It's an insane deconstruction. It's amazing. This is my daughter the other day. She's like, Papa, why can't we go outside? Well, because it's raining. Why? <laughs> well, water's coming out of the sky. Why? Why? Because it was in a cloud. Why? Well, clouds form when there's vapor. That could literally go on forever. And they'll let it, and they'll let... Why? And they literally will, if you don't stop it, they'll let you go on forever. I know, because I've been around, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> What's it called, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, it's a nephew or whatever, like, they literally will keep, unless you say stop, just... I don't know. I don't know, that's, I don't know any more things. Those are all the things I know. Why? Why? Because I'm stupid. I knew okay? he was going to say that. I think he was going to say that. Why? Well, because I didn't pay attention in school, okay? I went to school, but I didn't listen in class. Why? Because I was high all the time. I smoked too much pot. Why? Because my parents gave me no guidance. They didn't give a shit. Why? Because they fucked in a car and had me, and they resented me for taking their youth. Why? Because they had bad morals. They just had no compass. Why? Because they had shitty parents. It just keeps going like that. Why? Because fuck it, we're alone in the universe. Nobody gives a shit about us. I'm gonna stop here to be polite to you for a second. But this goes on for hours and hours, and it gets so weird and abstract at the end. It's like, why? Well, because some things are and some things are not. Okay. Why? Well, because <laughs> things that are not can't be. Why? Because then nothing wouldn't be. You can't have fucking nothing isn't. You literally can go, Everything. literally you could go on that forever. It literally would never stop. It's just so much shit and you could say it's, it's, it's infinite. You literally couldn't. It's like trying to count to a fucking infinity. It's trying to count like, it's trying to like, it's, it's infinite. You can't, you just can't. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because if nothing wasn't, there'd be fucking all kinds of shit that we don't like giant ants with top hats dancing around. There's no room for all that shit. Why? I'll fuck you. Eat your french fries, you little shit. God damn it. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. Thanks. That's what gets us to that point. Uh, that's the video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. More videos job in silly, y'all. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> He's so good. He's so funny. Lucy K, that boy, bro. That's my dog right there, Lucy K, whatever. I wonder how it's gonna feel when I'm a parent, bro. I feel like, me personally, y'all who have known me through this entire heart, y'all feel like I'll be a good parent. I feel like I'll be a wonderful, amazing parent. I feel like I would be, I would parent the fuck out of my child, bro. I feel like I would be strict rules. Yeah, no, not strict. I would be. I would be a chill parent. I would be like a chill. You know what I'm saying? I do not know what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let them vibe. I'm gonna let them chill. But at the same time, you gotta have that discipline. I'm gonna be cool, bro. I swear, bro. I'm gonna be cool, bro. I'm gonna be a really cool parent. Let me know y'all parents. Um, if y'all aren't any parents, what's it called? Watching. Um, how do y'all feel about parenting? Y'all, y'all like it? Y'all dislike it? You feel me? I feel like it just, it, it, it parenting what works well. If you're in the right position to have a kid, like he said, when he was going on that whole tangent with his daughter and stuff, he was like, you know, I was I didn't pay attention in school because my parents resented me because my parents resented me because they had them too, I, they had me too young. You know what I'm saying? If you had to have a child at the right age, not too too young, when you got when you settle, whatever, you cooling, you cooling. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. But um, yeah, let me know. Shout out to y'all parents out there though. I know it's a very very hard to to raise a kid you feel me and i really really respect all of you but uh yeah i want a kid not soon but i want one i'll be i feel like i'll be an amazing father but that's besides the point hope y'all enjoyed it more video dropping soon uh yeah that's it uh this video is hey i'm gonna get i need more lucy k videos let me know down below in the comments and i got to try more of these bangers hey thank y'all for watching hope, hope y'all enjoyed it love every single one of y'all and i'll catch y'all next time like comment subscribe share if you want to see more videos instagram's on the bottom of the screen also in the description if you want to hit me up dm me message me do all that shit so i can keep on spamming these videos out for y'all i appreciate y'all so much for watching it's your boy king supreme i'll catch y'all next time homies